thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you for holding this hearing. Uh, and uh, 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 focusing attention on job creation and economic growth, which should be our immediate priorities, and I hope this hearing will contribute to this effort. At last, we're starting to see promising news on the jobs front. The number of unemployed Americans has declined by more than a million in the past six months. Yet too many Americans are still out of work, and we must do everything we can to ensure that job numbers continue to improve. The financial crisis that ripped through our economy in 2008 was the worst our country had faced since 1929. These two events have much in common. Both were brought about by excesses of Wall Street. Both resulted from asset bubbles. Both followed periods of reckless deregulation. As my colleague Mr. Butterfield indicated, when President Obama took office, he inherited an economy that had already shed 3.6 million jobs and was losing 800,000 more each month. In addition, he faced paying for two wars that added billions to our national debt. No one action turned the economy around or can turn the economy around, but efforts including the Recovery Act, the rescue of General Motors and Chrysler, and billions of tax dollars in tax relief to working Americans have helped. Although factors such as uh, what might go on in the European debt crisis could change our trajectory, the U.S. economy is on the right path. But we won't have a full recovery until unemployed people can find work. And uh, we know the economy is growing, and that, in economist terms, the recession is over. But uh, while this may be a lagging indicator, our focus has to be on getting people to work. I know some Republican members think we need severe cuts in the federal budget that put gaping holes in our safety net while giving tax breaks to the wealthiest Americans. But that is the American equivalent of medieval bloodletting, a cure that makes the disease worse. In the aftermath of a recession like the one we have just experienced, with 12.8 million Americans still unemployed, more than 42 percent of the unemployed for 27 weeks or more, just leaving the economy alone and cutting federal spending is not an option. I'm pleased that we're going to have a conference agreement on uh, extending the payroll tax cut, paying for some more unemployment benefits, and keeping the promise to the seniors uh, under Medicare that their doctors will be paid so they could still get, people could still get access to those physicians. But Congress needs to work with this administration on long-term adjustments that must be made to ensure that the U.S. economy is one that rewards fair play and hard work. The recent budget by this administration for fiscal year 2013 shows its commitment to restoring middle-class security by attacking wasteful spending and instead investing in education, innovation, and infrastructure, the building blocks for an economy that works for all Americans. I appreciate this opportunity to make this statement, and I yield uh, whatever. I yield back my time.